हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल के एस एस गुरुकुल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर दिस इज पार्ट वन टूडेज वर्ल्ड इज एन इंफॉर्मेशन रिच वर्ल्ड एंड इट हैज बिकम ए नेसेसिटी फॉर एवरी वन टू नो अबाउट कंप्यूटर्स पर्पज ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू अबाउट कंप्यूटर एंड इट्स फंडामेंटल्स Let's first discuss about the functionalities of a computer. Any digital computer carries out five functions in gross terms. Takes data as input, stores the data or instruction in its memory and uses them when required. Processes the data and converts it into useful information. Generates the output controls all the above four steps when we think about computers the first question comes to our mind is what is computer computer is an electronic data processing device which accepts and stores data as input processes the data input and generates the output in a required format which is known as information now the question arises what is data and information first come to the data data can be defined as a representation of facts concepts or instructions in a formalized manner which should be suitable for communication interpretation or processing by human or electronic machine data is represented with the help of characters like alphabets digits or special characters what is information information is organized or classified data which has some meaningful values for the receiver information is the process data on which decisions and actions are based for the decision to be meaningful the process data must qualify for the following characteristics first timely information should be available when required second accuracy information should be accurate third completeness information should be complete next discuss about the advantages of computer first advantage is high speed computer is a very fast device it is capable of performing calculation of very large amount of data the computer has units of speed in microsecond nanosecond and even the picoseconds second advantage is accuracy in addition to being very fast computers are very accurate the calculations are 100% error free computers perform all jobs with 100% accuracy provided that correct input has been given third advantage is storage capability memory is a very important characteristic of computers a computer has much more storage capacity than human beings it can store large amount of data fourth advantage is diligence unlike human beings a computer is free from monotony tiredness and lack of concentration it can work continuously without any error and boredom it can do repeated work with same speed and accuracy fifth advantage is versatility a computer is a very versatile machine A computer is very flexible in performing the jobs to be done. This machine can be used to solve the problems related to various field. Next, let's discuss about the disadvantages of computer. A computer is a machine that has no intelligence to perform any task. Each instruction has to be given to computer. A computer cannot take any decision on its own. 
its functions as per a user's instruction so it is fully dependent on human being the operating environment of computer should be dust free and suitable computers have no feeling and emotions next let's discuss about the various applications of computers following are some list demonstrate various applications of computers in today's arena business banking insurance education marketing healthcare engineering design military communication government next is history of computers the history of computers starts out about 2000 years ago at the birth of the abacus a wooden rack holding two horizontal wires with bits strung on them when these bits are moved around according to programming rules memorized by the user all regular arithmetic problems can be done another important invention around the same time was the astrolabe used for navigation blas pascal is usually credited for building the first digital computer in 1642 in 1671 gottfried wilhelm von leibniz invented a computer that was built in 1694 it could err and after changing some things around it could multiply after that in early 50s two important engineering discoveries changed the image of the electronic computer field these discoveries were the magnetic core memory and the transistor circuit element next come to the computer generation generation in computer is a change in technology a computer each or watch being used there are mainly five computer generations known till date they are first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation let's discuss about them briefly first is first generation the period of first generation was 1946 to 1959 the computers of first generation used vacuum tubes as the basic components for memory and circuitry for cpu some computers of this generation were eniac advac 23 univac ibm 701 IBM 650 etc Next come to second generation The period of second generation was 1959 to 1965 In this generation transistors are used that were cheaper consumed less power more compact in size more reliable and faster than the first generation machines some computers of this generation were IBM 1620 IBM 7094 CDC 1604 CDC 3600 Univac 1108 next is third generation the period of third generation was 1965 to 1971 the computers of third generation used integrated circuits that is ic in place of transistors some computers of this generation were ibm 360 series honeywell 6000 series pdp means personal data processor IBM 370 or 168 TDC 316 
Next is fourth generation. The period of fourth generation was 1971 to 1980. The computers of fourth generation used very large scale integrated circuit that is VLSI. Some computers of this generation were DEC-10, STAR-1000, 27PDP-11, CRAY-1 that is supercomputer, CRAY-XMP that is also a supercomputer. Next is fifth generation. The period of fifth generation is 1980 to till date. In the fifth generation, the VLSI technology become ULSI that is ultra large scale integration technology. This generation is based on parallel processing hardware and AI, artificial intelligence software. Some computer types of this generation are desktop, laptop, notebook, ultrabook, Chromebook, etc. This was all about this topic. Feel free to like, share and comment your valuable views. Thank you for watching.